Okay, we're back. Please repeat the question from part one. Let's be real. Appearing on television, going door to door, and posting on social media can only get you so far even if you have great principles and a solid message, even if a lot of people know about you, or you get a debate spot. Do you think some things need to be changed about the presidential election system, primaries, funding, voting system, etc. itself before most people stop viewing third parties and independents as a wasted vote or spoiler? If so, what? You've ran an Ironman and climbed Mount Everest. What's the next outdoor physical activity you want to accomplish? Please come to Madison, W.I. I am scheduled to go climb Aconcagua with my family this fall, barring my being elected president. Sticking with what's real, you can't change reality, so we're trying to compete as the rules are written. One more for you, Gary. What's the most important thing a redditor like me can do right now to ensure your message is heard this November? Blog away. My son has a rare metabolic disorder called phenylketonuria. His brain cannot break down an amino acid called phenylalanine. Having too much can cause seizures and mental retardation. Treatment is a mixture of drinking a formula which is very expensive, calculating his P count by weighing all the foods that go into his body and by giving him synthetically modified foods lower in P also very expensive. His mother and I are going through a divorce and she is providing him with state-funded health care for free. I have recently gotten out of the military April 2012 and I am now a student in college going on the post 9 11th GI Bill. My questions are how will your health care plan affect the cost to treat my son for my family and I? What are your plans for veterans services, including physical and mental care for veterans? How do you plan on providing the necessary funds to our veterans who are returning home, broken both physically and mentally? No cuts to military benefits. Sounds like your son is truly in need. And I have to believe that devolving health care to the states would still provide a health care safety net to your son. Hello, Governor Johnson. I just wanted to start off by saying I am a young fan of you and your accomplishments and was very excited to hear you were running for president as a Republican. Unfortunately, they pretty much shafted you right from the start with the Republican primary debate issue. My question is why do you think they targeted you? Honestly, if they were really going after the libertarians of the party, Ron Paul would have been a bigger target. And as I'm sure you know, Reddit likes to focus on legalization, so I will skip that and jump to what most Redditors disagree with you. On the economy. Can you give your best pitch for a free economy being better than a semi-regulated one? Oh, and speaking of pitches, you threw the first ball at a local game that I would have done anything to attend, literally the one week I have been out of town in over a year. Thanks for doing another army and please answer more political questions than Obama. I support the fair tax, which is eliminating corporate tax, income tax, and abolishing the IRS. I think adopting the fair tax kicks crony capitalism in the rear end. And crony capitalism is alive and well. Are you planning on having any official presence, whether on location or virtual, during the debates? We've got plenty of cards that we are planning to play, this is one of them. Governor Johnson, I agree with you on many issues, but abolishing the IRS seems a bit extreme. 
How do you plan to raise money for the government to function without an IRS-like agency? Fair tax, which is one federal consumption tax, and it would be administered by the states. Simple, simple, simple. Governor Johnson, thank you for doing this. In terms of achieving electoral and campaign finance reform in America, what are your thoughts on these potential solutions? Bringing about a ranked voting system for congressional-slash-presidential elections x. Instant runoff voting Getting rid of the Electoral College Instituting a public financing system for congressional-slash-presidential elections Passing a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United A combination of all of the above How do you feel about Ron Paul running as a Republican? Kudos to Ron Paul. Trying to change the Republican Party resulted in a lot of knots on my head. Changing to the Libertarian Party, nothing had to be changed. Obviously, the RP movement has sparked somewhat of a Libertarian uprising in the country. Now it seems we are at a crossroads of what to do next. Some are moving to the LP while some are trying to reform the GOP from the inside to move it more libertarian. I fear that nothing will really result if both are occurring simultaneously. What do you predict will happen in the future? Speaking personally, it is great to not have to beat my head up against the wall anymore. What's the first thing you would do in office if elected? Also, how do I convince my family members to vote third party? Produce a balanced budget document. Thank you so much for doing this, Governor Johnson. What do you think is the greater threat to America? The national debt or the overwhelming support for candidates that exacerbate it? In essence, the cause or the effect? I put the biggest threat to America as politicians who beat their chests over the threat of drugs, the threat of the illegal immigrant, the threat of terrorism, the threat of poor health care, all at a cost of bankrupting America. You've had my vote Mr. Johnson since your in far war interview a few months back. Go President Johnson. My question is related to GNOS and the genetically modified foods. That you, myself, the cattle, and everyone else here are somehow consuming in our everyday lives. How do you feel about this monopoly that Monsanto has set up and the immunity they are getting in the courts? I uh, judge na o i me book vowed of February the 24th. I want them out of my produce. Also, any comments on the 9% congressional approval rating? I have celiac disease, so I need food labeled. I think food should be labeled, and that would include gmos in food. 9% congressional rating, well deserved. What's your opinion of Mitt Romney? Wonderful, engaging human being, but I have to tell you that we can't balance the budget and increase military spending and hold Medicare in. Tact. Plenty of people on Reddit are familiar with your political views or could using Google, so my question is more personal. What inspired you to enter politics and try to help Americans? The belief that politics really is a higher calling, and the ability to do good by others is really important. I also understand doing good by others is big time debatable. Your platform includes closing the Department of Education. What will you do to ensure every American receives schooling should they desire? What about higher education? What role will the government play in ensuring their future financial stability? While I understand regulations may prove to be impediments to business, which regulations would you maintain? For example, banking. Regulations removed by Reagan and Clinton are now viewed as the major 
stepping stones that have led to today's financial crisis. What does common sense tell you about environmental issues? Government exists to protect us against individuals, groups, and corporations that would do us harm. Rules and regulations should exist to accommodate this. The EPA protects us against those that would pollute, and without them a lot more polluters would be allowed to pollute. You've got my vote. Thank you. As a very strong supporter of your campaign, a lot of people ask me who Gary Johnson is. What do you think is the perfect answer to give for a potential libertarian vote? Entrepreneur, athlete, former governor of New Mexico. This guy has a resume that would suggest that he is going to doggedly pursue everything he is talking about. What are some major influences which have conceived or influenced your libertarianism? What is the essence of libertarianism as you see it? The notion that all of us can make the best decisions regarding our own lives, as long as those decisions don't put others in harm's way. Does a nuclear Iran pose an existential threat to America, and what, if any, military intervention would you consider appropriate? I am the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I believe that all of our military interventions have resulted in hundreds of millions of enemies to this country that would otherwise not exist, but for our military interventions. Assuming I'm perfectly qualified for the position, how much money would I have to donate to you or your super PAC to get appointed as an ambassador to an unimportant country, for example, the Republic of Albonia? As governor of New Mexico, all the jobs were up for grabs. Be qualified, come apply. So, save your money and come apply. Do we love you? Thank you. I love you too. Next question continued in part 3.